In the fall of 2019, 10 residents and two journalists in Patterson, New Jersey, came together to discuss the city they call home. Residents said they'd seen enough corruption in government. Where were the police when they felt unsafe in their homes? Children were not being educated about the history of Patterson. How could journalists amplify these voices and highlight the priorities of Pattersonians? To facilitate these connections and conversations, the Center for Cooperative Media at Montclair State University launched Voting Block. Voting Block is a project from the Center for Cooperative Media that um, it's really, it was intended to be a grand experiment in dialogue journalism. And the goal is to bring together um, a diverse group of people who wouldn't ordinarily dine together. And diverse in the way of different political perspectives, religious, ethnic, income level, but bring them all together to the dinner table and talk about the priorities and issues that matter in their community. We expect disagreement, we expect differences, but that's the whole point of dialogue journalism, is to also bring journalists to the table to kind of aid and participate in the conversation and get them to talk about and share those differences. Everybody's worried about college tuition, but we don't have the means to make sure our kids are prepared to go to college. Well, I was very eager to participate because uh, Voting Block offered the same thing that I wanted to offer Patterson myself, which is a real conversation uh, to be had about the real things that we're dealing with. Um, Voting Block also offered the opportunity and space for us as uh, residents to come together, speak about specific issues, and then present them to a council person, someone who can really make change. We, we keep focusing on violence and poverty and education. These are all great things to focus on, yes. We have an overabundance in one particular area, an overabundance of liquor stores. Mm. There should have been people saying it should not happen. What was impossibly unique is I think most people at best barely knew one another. So I might have met a few of the people there, but the, none of these were, were human beings that I interact with regularly at all. There was a beauty in the chaos of it, and I think um, to to see people with their guards down having uncomfortable conversations that at time got that times got heated, um, but I think it was like a very respectful heat. I'm saying all oh, and because I've seen it myself. That's not our So if you said something about the children, but they bring you our children. They are from Lebanon. 16, they are babies. At least keep the, those young kids out of the, you know, the, the gang and the, you know, the underground economy as Andre calls it. I gained different perspectives from the other people who were involved in Voting Block. Although we all live in the same city, there was an opportunity to see things from different people's eyes. When you're um, sharing a meal with people, it's a very intimate setting, and I felt as if people, they let their guards down a little bit when you are asking someone to pass you, you know, the salad. It's, it's a gesture of friendship. We have a drug epidemic. We have a lack of financial education. We have a lack of nutritional education in the city of Patterson. Our schools are overpopulated and our city is overpopulated. I hear about it on my day to day, speaking to friends and family and in my travels around the city. I don't hear that often from the media. The journalists who came to the table were very engaged. They have had wonderful story ideas since then that they are pursuing. They were awakened to issues in the community that they just didn't realize were bubbling up. Their presence and us knowing that they're there, we know that we have access to someone like them. So that was, that was incredible. The journalists that were present um, at our dinners were very engaged, and I could see just through their body language that they were listening to everything that we said. They weren't there tasked with a specific coverage of an event, but it was sort of open-ended. You don't know what you're going to hear or what's going to come out of it. Really, to do the job well, be it a journalist's job or a public official's job, to do those jobs well, and let's face it, also the job of being an active, engaged resident of a community, you have to be talking amongst yourselves.